Hello and welcome to our noob to pro guide. In this video, we're going to be telling you how you can go from a noob to a pro player. So I want to start off by saying that what you want to do to become a pro player, that's by fighting stronger players. Because when you fight stronger players, it allows you to copy their techniques. And when you copy people's techniques and add it to your own, then you're able to multiply your skill level and evolve into a stronger version of yourself. The first tip I want to give you as a pro to you as a noob, that is that you're gonna want to find the character that you work best with. In my case, I've chosen Asta because I'll explain why Asta, I feel like Asta is the best character you can choose as of right now. But the first thing you want to do is go into your character slot and then you're gonna want to choose which characters you want. In the first, we have Naruto, One Piece, Bleach, Dragon Ball, Demon Slayer, and then I don't know who this is Fire Force, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. And then I guess this is all just all my characters I have. I've chosen Asta. And I feel like you're gonna want to take the character you feel you're best with. Because if you take a character that you don't operate well with, then you're not gonna have a stable playstyle. And the reason why you're gonna want to take a character you work best with, that's because that you're gonna evolve much more by playing something you're used to and something you're best with. In my in my version, I'm best at close range. That's why I've chosen Asta. And I'm like I just like being a stable player. Not too offensive and not too defensive. Now I'm gonna hop into uh, training where I'll showcase the moves of Asta and I'll also showcase why I think that Asta is the best character you can choose as of right now. We're back into the training lobby with Asta and I'm gonna show you and also explain to you the moves of Asta and why I think that he's the best character you could start up with. So the first move we have is a move called Demon Slicer and the way for you to activate that ability is for you charging up. The way you charge up is by holding C, which I'm gonna do now. So when you charge up, then you're able to use all the moves you have. And I'm gonna start off by demonstrating this move on a dummy. Like I really love this move because that it does not deal a lot of damage, but when you push them with the move because it has KB, then you're able to analyze the game and analyze the fighting situation you're in. When you analyze the fighting situation you're in, it gives you a better overview of what you can do to, to win the battle and come out on top. The second move we have is a move called Black Slash. The reason why I like the move called Black Slash is because that it's pretty long range. You can go from a mile away and use Black Slash and still hit your opponents. Asta is a character of being stable. What I mean with that is that you can go from a mile away and hit people. And when you do that, it just gives you the opportunity to analyze the battle more. When you analyze the battle, it just gives you a better overview of the game. The third ability, as we all know, the famous move is the Hurricane. If you don't know of Hurricane, that's the first move Asta ever performed as a demon in Black Clover. Sorry for spoilers. This is it. Like, it's a pretty OP move, and it does much damage, especially the last hit. The last hit does a lot of damage because of that it's just a it's just a big it's just a big attack. I really love Hurricane because that it gives you the the opportunity to keep a distance with the player meaning that you can use it to combo extend actually you can use all of these moves to combo extend but hurricane is by far the best because that it deals a lot of damage it's, it deals good damage as well and the last ability i have is a move called anti-magic i'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate that move to you right here at this bot i don't have a player so i'm gonna have to rely on this dummy Okay, here it is. So this is the fourth move of Asta. Anti-Magic Deflect. It's a very good move because it gives you the opportunity to deflect your enemy's attack. And when you deflect those attacks, it just gives you 
like it makes you feel immortal because you can basically it's so OP you're not able to get hit by any by any move and you're also able to awaken with a lot of characters I'll show you how you can awaken with Asta in a bit but the awakening of Asta is a very OP awakening because it enhances your physical physique and it also enhances your speed, durability and stamina. What I mean with that is that it just overall makes you stronger like the character Asta really is in his demon form. Here it is. Alright guys we're back. And what you can see now is that I've gotten the option to awaken with Asta. This is a very very cool transformation. And the way you can awaken in Adam Showdown with Asta is by holding G. A lot of characters have the option to awaken, but I feel like Asta's awakening is the strongest one because you just overall become an absolute monster and OP. This is it. Oh my god. Just look at them. Look at this demonic aura. Oh my, he looks like a beast. Yeah, this is it. Just look at him. I become I become much stronger. I'm also faster, and the the moves are also different because when you awaken, your moves become different. So it's not like it's not like the other ones. And if you look up on top, you see that this mode is running out. So I have to use all the moves I have as fast as possible before it runs out. So the other move for it is rapid black slashes. It's like the other move, but just stronger. And the third one is um, one horn thrust. They're very strong. And then the fourth one is black meter. It's also a very famous move of Asta. It looks like I'm just marching. But that is what Asta can do. And that is why I believe that Asta is the strongest. The absolute strongest character. In Adam Showdown right now. And I think that it's a good idea for you to join Roll Vantage. Because in Roll Vantage we have a lot of pro players from each game. We have a lot of pro players from this game called Adam Showdown. And when you fight the pro players we have from our Discord server. Then you're going to be able to achieve the skill level you want. And all only by that you get better. And our players get better as well. That's why I think that you should join Roll Vantage. If you didn't, if you enjoyed the video, then please drop a like and subscribe to us. What we're gonna be doing is that we're posting weekly videos of us going into different games and just having fun as a community. Thank you for watching.